This is the memo for exercise 11.4. So the questions we need to answer are the following. Write down the quadrilateral's properties in terms of its sides, angles and diagonals. So in this quadrilateral, if I look at it, uh, let's first start with the sides. It's a trapezium. And with the trapezium, with the sides, only these two sides are parallel. So therefore, I can state that VW is parallel to y, YX. And then if I look at the other two sides, they are neither equal or parallel. So now I move on to the angles. And <coughs> I can see that neither of these angles are equal um, or are bisected um, in any way. And then if I move on to the diagonals, neither the diagonals are equal or bisect each other. So the only um, thing that stands out from a trapezium is that one of the two sides are parallel to each other. Next up we have a kite, so writing its properties, starting off with the sides. With the kite, um, these two sides, these two adjacent sides are equal and these two adjacent sides are equal. So those that we write down as RU is equal to RS and U, UT is equal to TS. Then from for the angles, so uh, what is equal in the angles is these two angles opposite each other are, are equal. So that is RUT, angle RUT is equal to angle RST. And then for the diagonals, now we can see that these diagonals bisect each other um, at 90 degrees. And uh, we also see um, that it, since it bisects this, this would be equal to this. Uh, let's just make that three. All right, so we can state that that UO will be equal to OS. And then also that the diagonals um, are, are perpendicular to each other. That means that R, RT, this is perpendicular to that, is perpendicular to US, and then also uh, the diagonals bisect the angles. So we can just state that the diagonals bisect angles, and that just means that they cut the angles in half. Next up, we have a par parallelogram and writing its properties. We start off with the sides. Now, with the parallelogram, we know that um, both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other. So, therefore, we can say that that M N is parallel to M. Oh, this should be a a P and a Q. So, this should be a P and a Q to P Q, and then also M P is parallel to Also, we know that um, both pairs of opposite sides are, are equal. So, um, MN is equal to PQ, and also uh, MP is equal to NQ. Right now, moving on to the angles. These, the opposite angles are equal.
is equal to hg and also um, eh is equal to fg and then to state that they are parallel ef is parallel to hg and eh is parallel to fg now for the angles anything uh, specific about the angles the angles are all 90 degrees so i can just take which is equal to HGF and that's equal to 90 degrees and then finally for the diagonals so all of these diagonals bisect each other but they also all of them are are equal let's just make these three lines they are all equal to each other so and also these two diagonals are equal to each other so we can say that EG is equal to HF and then also the smaller ones HO is equal to EO is equal to um, FO is equal to GO and then we have the rhombus so for the rhombus we have the sides and all sides are, are equal and also that the opposite pairs are parallel so this would be parallel so we have that uj is equal to jk which is equal to lk which is equal to lu and then opposites are parallel we've got uj is parallel to lk and we have that ul is parallel Now for the angles, uh, the opposite angles are, are equal to each other, so that means that LUJ is equal to LKJ and ULK is equal to UJK. And then finally the diagonals. The diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees so we can then state that LJ Bisect the corner angles as well, so they cut their corner angles in half. So diagonals 